two, three, funk it. That you want Say yeah. Need some old school love Say yeah. Put your hands up in the air Let them know that you care Hey guys, it's Nyla. Welcome back to my channel. Today, as y'all can tell by the title, by the thumbnail, y'all clicked on this video, y'all already know what it is, but I'm going to tell you anyway, this is a quarantine haul. I've been shopping during quarantine, things have been sent to me, etc. So, I'm just going to be showing you guys all the things I have accumulated so far. This video is sponsored by Shein. This haul is a bit more miscellaneous. I got workout clothes, accessories, and just stuff I wouldn't normally get in my regular hauls. But I still did get some things that y'all probably like. I also got some makeup some skincare things i just got a lot of stuff that i want to show you guys and yeah i hope y'all enjoy give this video a thumbs up and make sure y'all subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and let's go ahead and jump into the video as always i do have a coupon code so y'all can use it to get money off of your purchase so i'm gonna go ahead and start with like skincare and makeup and just like cosmetic stuff so first i got the moon cosmetics essential kit skincare line thing i've been wanting this for a while because everyone just like raves about rose galore on social media and they love it and they always recommend it to other people so i wanted to try it so these are the things that i got now in my review i'm gonna let y'all know how i feel about it but i'm just showing y'all what i got in this haul it comes with four different things this is the first cleanser it's called purify this is the second one it's called even and then this is the toner it's called rejuvenating and then of course rose galore to finish it off so like i said once i finish this or once i'm like down to here i'll probably be doing a review for y'all now the second thing y'all probably like why would you get two different skin regimen kind of things okay so first off i bought that but then curology actually reached out to me so i was like i mean why would i say no it's like customized skincare so they sent me these three things i'm covering up my name but it does have your name on it they send you a cleanser another cleanser or no i think this is a cleanser a toner and a moisturizer i haven't used it yet so i'm not sure but they sent me these little mini versions so that i can try them and if i like them i can get full size i'm gonna do my makeup last because i got a few things from ulta but we're gonna move into what i got from the hair store i can't go to the nail salon so i've been wearing a lot of press-ons lately these are kids press-ons right now so i'm gonna show y'all some of the ones that i picked up recently first i got these kids jelly fantasy ones ones these are so cute they're coffin shaped they're translucent and then i also have like glitter and chrome so i thought these were cute and then i got these blue matte like baby blue matte ones from the hair store these i already opened them up because i was going to use them but these are super short like real short it says right here real short like they're so short they're the um french tip nails and these are so short like my nails are actually kind of long so i can't really wear these because my real nail is like peeking out under the nail so now we're gonna jump into the makeup my favorite part y'all can probably see it floating like on my desk but i got a lot of stuff from ulta so i'm gonna start with my favorite thing which are the palettes that i got i purchased two more juvia's place palettes y'all i love these palettes they're so pigmented and the packaging is just so cute so i got the warrior and i also got the mini masquerade palette because i didn't have the full size one but i don't use that much eyeshadow anyway so it's fine so this is what it looks like it still has a little clear cover on it but y'all just get into the colors like this is so cute this color right here this like shimmery pink is just so pigmented so i'm so excited to use that and then i got the warrior palette which i wanted so bad once again it has a pink shade and y'all know i love pink as you can tell if it's not obvious enough and it has this really really pretty sparkly blue shade here at the bottom i just like i have no words it's just bomb so the next thing that i got is this urban decay wired palette i've just been like really into colorful makeup looks so i needed more palettes to do the looks i wanted to do and the packaging on this one is just fire like period like it's just so cute i love it it has a big mirror at the top i really don't want to get my fingerprints on it because it's new it has all rainbow colors on the palette as you can tell so the last palette I got is the Anne Z palette by Anastasia. First off, the packaging is so pretty. It's like right up my alley. It's glittery. It's all pink. This is my first Anastasia palette as well. Once again, it has a mirror at the top and it just has a whole bunch of shades. It also comes with a brush, which I love. And I'm so excited to get into this color. It's called Reezy and Barb as well. They're so pretty. I swatched all of these palettes already and they're so pigmented so i'm really excited to get into them so for complexion things like foundation and concealer i got two foundations and one concealer so i got a re-up 
of a lot of my products actually. So I got another Tarte Shape Tape and this is in the shade Me Tan Golden. I also got another one of these Ulta Beauty Effortless Effect foundations in the shade tan olive i love these for just like going out but i don't want to wear like a full face like i'm wearing now like going to school i love these so um i just got another one because my other one is running out and then i also got a another born this way but this one's in the shade golden instead of honey because honey is actually not my color it's too dark for me i was super excited to use this so i went ahead and used it and took it out because i just couldn't wait but this is the real techniques miracle powder sponge so i have the regular orange sponges and i actually got some more of those as well so here are those but i really wanted to try those because i saw like a lot of youtubers using these like velvet looking beauty blender so I wanted to try one and I saw that real technique tab one so I had to pick it up and I love it by the way. I picked up another one of these NYX Vivid liquid liners and this is a yellow one and once again the packaging deceives you I promise you like this looks like it's super bright but it's not and I was just really sad but it's still cute. I got this I'm so late to this this is the Morphe mattifying setting mist and I really didn't want a mattifying spray because I like to look dewy but I've used this twice already and I love it so maybe mattifying isn't that bad I don't know y'all but I really like this I love this primer I actually got a mattifying primer like I don't know what's, what's good with me like why am I why do I keep getting mattifying products when I don't like to be matte and like I don't like my face to feel dry I like it to be dewy and hydrated so I got another one of these Ulta Beauty hydrating face primers and I love this I had a travel size one had to get the full size because I loved it this is super cute. So I got a Real Techniques foundation blender brush. Kind of like a kabuki brush. But instead of being for blush and like for your cheeks, it's for your face and it's for blending your foundation. And I just had to film this video because I wanted to use this so bad. So And I didn't want to open everything. So I'm really excited to use this. I know y'all are like, when is this makeup haul going to end? I got a Ulta Beauty sharpener. That's because I bought two of these NYX brown lip liners. Because my other brown lip liner broke, so I had to figure out a way to make it work. So I bought two of these. First off, I want to thank my mom for buying my Too Faced foundation. That was so sweet of her. So um, with that purchase, they give you one of these bags. So this is a Too Faced bag. I'm going to be definitely using this. I love makeup bags. So in the bag, they give you a Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is a travel size one. And I was kind of like, this is anticlimactic because it's a big bag, but it's this little itty bitty mascara in it and then i already know y'all are gonna drag me down for this one but i got a mario badesco bag well, i will not be using the spray and i don't use the sprays anymore but they do give you a mini spray the enzyme cleanser which i've used before and then they sent me a mask which i'm interested in the mask so i'm probably gonna try to mask out but not the other things so other than that and a few pairs of lashes those are all the makeup products that i've picked up recently we're gonna go ahead and jump into the shein haul all right so moving on to the accessories that i got from shein the first thing i want to start with is this corset i think i mentioned this in like my last 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 haul which is it's been a while i have it in i i want to check that out but that haul did really well so thank y'all so much for all the support on that video but it ties in the front um and then you snap it in the back to wear it so these are really popular and i really wanted to do a look with one of these so i have a black corset and it's like a corset belt so i love how shein's glasses come in these protective cases i think it's really nice and it's just a good touch so that your glasses don't get scratched so i got these super skinny red ones and you just wear them like this and i thought these were really cute and they just add to like if you're wearing a red fit these would just add to it and make it really cute so i got these they have like gold detailing on them and then these are more of like a i don't know these remind me of like y2k like early 2000s maybe like someone's granddad i don't know i just thought they were so cute like i don't know where i'm going how i'm gonna wear these i don't know they just they're just y'all know they just give me the vibes i don't know it's just something about them so they're just like these brown rimless shades the previous ones were also rimless and they just have once again gold hardware and they're like an ombre to dark brown to clear and i just thought these were so cute so i'm glad i picked these up i don't know how i'm gonna wear them yet but just know i'm gonna wear them somehow and they're gonna be cute the next thing i got are these fishnet I wouldn't say tights, they're not legging, they're like kind of in the middle. So I saw a couple people on Pinterest with these and I was like, these are so cute. So they look really weird on, I promise, but I'm going to probably try it on with something so y'all can get like an idea of how they actually look. Or I'll insert a picture, or probably both actually. They're just these 
rhinestone black fishnet legging kind of things tights I don't know, I'm not sure and they split at the bottom these are really really cute I'm not sure how I'm gonna wear them where I'm gonna wear them but I really like them these next three bags are those mini bags and y'all I'm just obsessed I've already worn this one it's a super tiny like I'm serious like super tiny super super tiny all you can fit in here are some coins it's this really long strap and just just like super tiny bag and i love it i just think it's so cute you can tie this around your waist that's how i wore it or you can just wear it as a crossbody this one's a bit bigger and it's probably like the same size as the next one i'm going to show y'all but i got this lime green crop print alligator print or snake skin whatever you want to call it so it has a little handle and you open the flap and then the strap secure right here so you just clamp them onto these rings and that's how you use it it has obviously it's a small purse it's not supposed to be that functional but you can fit like cash lip gloves your keys just like small things like that in here and yeah so you can either just wear it like this and take the straps off or you can wear it with the strap as a crossbody it's really similar to the first one i showed y'all super similar to that pink one but just like the same size as the lime green one so it's kind of like a mix so once again it has that little satchel kind of look with the handle right here in the front you open it like this once again you could probably fit like lip gloss some cash and it's just a crossbody so this one you can't take the strap off so you just have to wear it as a crossbody or you could tie it around your waist which is what i plan to do with this this isn't technically like a mini bag i wore this already as well check out my instagram picture if you haven't it's just this lavender crop print it's also gold so you flip it like this and the straps open up it's quite a bit of room inside you can fit like a small you can fit like a small wallet in here and yeah so it just has the little handle here at the top it doesn't come with straps so you do have to wear it like one of those like kind of handbags i picked these up to go with a shirt or like bodysuit i'm going to show y'all later on but also to go with that lime green purse these really cute heels this goes around your ankle and this is where your feet lay obviously and it's not really that tall it's probably like a two maybe two and a half inch heel they're kind of like a felt material they're really soft they're not the most comfortable though i did try them on already they have a silver little clamp that you can pull and adjust to make it tighter or looser those are all the set mm -mm. Those are all the accessories I picked up from Shein, so now we're going to move on to the clothes. From first glance, it's going to look a little crazy, but just keep in mind that I'm going to wear this with the jeans. So I got this bodysuit right here. It's kind of washing my camera out, but it's like this kind of like a lacy bodysuit and then it comes all the way down like any other bodysuit would. It snaps at the bottom. It does have a hole in it, so... It's not the best quality, obviously, because it's a thin bodysuit. It does cover up your boobs right here, so you can wear this without a bra or you can wear it with like a strapless bra or pasties, however you want to do it. I had an outfit idea for it. I'm going to try it and see if I like it, and if I do, y'all will see it on Instagram. But I just thought this is a super cute idea. I saw like a lot of people on Pinterest with like black ones, and I just thought a lime neon color one would be really cute i know i love denim so i got another denim top you kind of do it like a corset here in the front or maybe like a waist trainer i don't know how you explain it. you just clamp it all the way down and it's really cute it has like this line designing and then in the back it zips and it's a crop top and i got this in size extra small and that bodysuit was also in size extra small i wore this with my lavender purse it's such a cute dress the quality of this dress is amazing it's really really soft it's this one shoulder dress it's in a size extra small a really really pretty lavender color and then it has a cut out here where your stomach will be super hard to show on camera but y'all seen the try on portion and it just comes down into a skirt but the skirt is also asymmetrical so it slants down i can't really explain it but y'all will see when it's on i think it's really cute this is just a black turtleneck bodysuit it's one of those high cut bodysuits so you wear it with low rise jeans and you can kind of like see your hip um, it's probably not the best season to wear a turtleneck because it's, it's starting to get really hot So it's just a long sleeve. It's not super 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 tight, but it's tight enough and it snaps at the bottom So let's give a round of applause for Shein because no one wants to strip down in the bathroom We just want to unbuckle the bodysuit and do what he do This is the last actual clothing item that I received. They're these dark wash jeans. They have rips in them 
I love these jeans. I love how they fit everything. Y'all know Shein has definitely stepped it up. I just don't like the buttons going down. And I don't think I saw that when I was... How did I not see that? I just don't like the buttons. The jeans are so nice. Y'all know I love the jeans that distress at the bottom. So these are right up my alley. I just don't like the buttons. It's just something about the buttons that I don't like. These are in a size extra small. So if they didn't have these buttons and they only had like one button instead of all of these. Or if they were like the kind of jeans that cover the button and only show the front one, they would be perfect. That was the last actual like clothing item that I got. The next two things that I got are workout clothes. These are the same as that leggings, just in two different colors. These are more of like a mauve muted pink color. I love these because first off, they're really nice quality. Like they're not see-through at all. They definitely pass the squat check. But I got both of these in a size small, I believe these um are high-waisted leggings they just don't fit me the best so maybe if i dry these i don't know because of the material so they're just a little bit too big for me but they do have phone pockets and i love that because like when you're jogging you don't want to put your phone in your pants because first off you're sweating second off it's going to slide all the way down your pants because you're running so it's just not really the best so when workout leggings have phone pockets i love that i got these same exact ones in this coral kind of like a muted coral color same exact leggings same phone pockets high waisted once again for some reason these fit better than those i'm not sure why they're in the exact same size and exact same style but these just fit me a little bit a tad bit tighter than those do so that's a little weird but once again they're full length really good material so speaking of workout clothes i got some more of course most of these things are actually i think all of these things are from dick's sporting goods so these are the things that i got from there i'm missing one set because i already wore it but i'll insert a picture or like a boomerang of it because i already worked out in it and i didn't watch it in time to film this video but we're gonna start with the cutest thing this is my favorite i cannot wait to wear it it's this padded white and black nike sports bra so it's white has a black elastic band and then the black swoosh and it has mesh in the back and it also crisscrosses in the back got this in a size extra small and to go with it instead of getting like white nike pros which is what i was gonna get my mom picked this out i swear my mom picks out like the best stuff honestly so i got this white tennis skirt so it has a really thick elastic band at the top and the black swoosh once again and this is a white skirt this is so cute and i tried it on and y'all it just looks so cute together you don't have to worry about wearing black shorts or anything underneath because it does have spanks underneath it which i love so this is what the set looks like together next i got some nike pros can y'all believe i did not have nike pros like that's just so crazy to me but i had them before but they were too small so i threw them out but i got these black ones these are the most basic ones you can get they have the white swoosh white elastic band i actually like the old style better i don't really like this thick band but whatever these are also in a size extra small and then i got this really really cute one y'all so i picked this one up because i just love the colors this is actually from the girl section and it's in a size medium it's just this really pretty colorful one um it has the white swoosh and then just like rainbow stripes on it and then you can reverse it to just being a black sports bra with a pink check and i love that because i can definitely just wear that with my black nike pros or i can flip it inside out and wear it with my shein leggings that i got because they are this mauve muted pink color so those are all the clothing items that i got in this haul i'm going to be showing you guys three more things so the first two things are from this company i'll have it here on the screen she sent me these really really cute socks her brand sells these really cute custom tie-dye nike socks are so cute so i got this lavender color and i also got this pink color and i just love both of these and the time that she takes to make these so shout out to her for sending these over they're really really cute and then i got some cases i got two customized cases from i believe it's shop so heartless i'll have the correct name on the screen because i don't want to butcher it i have this one first which is just like a collage of me and then it says nyla and then i have this one which is from my birthday photo shoot and she also sent me this bracelet and last but not least i got some white birkenstocks i've been wanting some Birks for the longest i got some white ones because i really like them and these are in a size 37 that was a lot of stuff, but I hope y'all enjoyed my hauls. I like to accumulate the stuff so I can make a big haul for y'all because I know y'all like longer videos. So if y'all enjoyed this video, give it a big old thumbs up. Once again, shout out to Shein for sponsoring today's video. I'm probably going to be doing something on my IGTV. I'm not sure yet, but stay tuned for that. And don't forget to follow my socials. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment down below where y'all have been shopping during this quarantine and also what was your favorite thing in today's haul and with all that being said i'll see y'all in my next one bye guys